These sodas are going to give me the perfect opportunity to talk to you about something my good friend Andrew over at the Lou was just talking about the other day. I, I've, I've somehow managed to get three of these sodas in at the same time. I know that almost never happens and I've only picked up one of a piece of them. But they're going to give me the ability to have this conversation with you on a topic that he was just having. I'll throw a link to his video right down in the description below. I encourage you to go check it out when you get a free minute. But... Basically what he was saying is when you when you get a soda you need to be getting it from a company that you trust You should never just run out and buy a soda from from someone you don't trust right? So you you have good companies out there like entertainment earth hot topic FYE all of these companies that are not going to Physically weigh this pop because all of these pops have a little bit of a different weight to them I said pops look I know they're sodas I get it but the chase variants versus the comments almost always Always, always have a different weight to them. So when you're not getting it from one of these really trusted companies like Pop in the Box and, and you know there's so many other really good trusted companies out there, you are taking the risk that the seller is weighing the chase and then he's setting the chase to the side and then only selling the comments and then selling the chase at a higher rate, right? But it's, it's deception and a lie at its best and it's just a hustle game people have been hustling since the age of time you know it's a lot like weighing down the so that it weighs more some of that some of that's gonna fly right over the top of, of some of y'all's head some of y'all did not catch at all exactly what that was referenced to some of y'all caught that right away for those of y'all who did not catch that just just let it fly over the top of your head it's it's okay you, you don't you don't even want to know but anyways the hustle game has been around for a really really long time and I kind of want to add to the conversation I wanted to add to this conversation just a little bit more because there's other sites that make it very very easy for for maybe for you to trust the seller on some sort of a level but to then also get deceived I don't remember what this Robocop chase variant was I hope that it's a really cool one to be honest with you he there's a 10,000 piece run in this I managed to pick up these three we're gonna get these three open to see if I, I managed to grab any of these chases is that the chase variant is it is it is it no I'm pretty sure that's just the common let's see the pog the pog will normally tell us right away which one it is which one is it it is the common this it's it's really cool I don't mind that I got the comment. So now that you know the basis of the conversation, I want to take this conversation a step further. I want to take this beyond the, the only buy sodas from the companies that you trust to the only buy sodas from people you know. And when I say no, I don't mean like acquaintances that I know from a different state or I know from across the world. I mean only people you know. And the reason I want to say this is... I think that all too often that we forget that just because I opened a box in front of you doesn't mean that I didn't retape the box before I opened it, right? I, I think that there's some kind of confusion out there in the world that once that tape is cracked, it can never be put back down. And not just that, let's take a few steps back to when I was talking about hustling. When I was talking about hustling and how hustling happens and how, how often people hustle other people without other people being 100% aware that they're being hustled. Look, I love the hustle game and I'm here with you, but I'm going to try and help you out on this a little bit. The the not only did I might know where the, the chase soda was in the brake pack, right? Because I know that that's a thing, right? We, we do these like brake packs and, and, and this, this, you bid on six of them and whoever has the number that has the chase variants, the one that got it and it got up, it got bid up. I know that that's a thing. I know that it's a thing, but hear me out. Who's to say that I didn't open that box ahead of time? And I know which one of those guys is the chase variant out of that box. And my buddy is the one who bids it up I want you to think about that for a minute and I know at this moment what you're thinking you're like oh there's there's no way I just just think about that one for a minute while we see if we we picked up a chase is this one the chase variant did did we manage to grab a chase variant this time so this one's Gomez holding things hand I don't oh this one's gonna be the chase variant let's go <laughs> he's he's a he is a one and two thousand there are 
12,500 of these guys made. This one is a really, really awesome look. I love getting these Chase variants and, and ordering them from Entertainment Earth. Look, it, it guarantees me a really fair chance of getting the Chase variant. If you want to order yours from Entertainment Earth, there's a link right down in the description below. Every time you place an order through that link down in the description below, this channel is going to receive a few pennies from every order that you made. Trust me, it's not a whole lot, but it just helps out with the channel. Now that we've talked about the fact that I can open a box and I can weigh them and I can know exactly where the Chase variant sitting in the box and, and we've kind of went over the fact that my buddy could, could actually be the one who was bidding on that, there was a lot of you at that moment that were saying, there's no way that that could happen. There's there's rules against that and it's not allowed. Look, that has been happening as long as eBay has been around. People have had friends or other accounts that they went and bid on them themselves or they had other people bid on them and then they bid it way up in the expectation that it gets stuck on you at a higher price than maybe it did before. I want you to think about that for a minute. How are you going to know that they did that to you? Now, if it gets stuck on, on them, they just cancel the order. They don't have to pay that. They don't have to pay the percentages. They don't have to do none of that. They just simply cancel the order and move right along. And these companies have so much going on that they can't take every second of their day to find somebody that is hustling somebody else. I know that you're thinking that that shouldn't be fair and that's not allowed. And it's technically, it's not fair and it's technically not allowed, but it happens every day every day and I want you to think about that next time you're on whatnot and you're doing one of these auctions did you get a fair chance to get in the chase variant or did you not and that's kind of been one of the things that I've said about the sodas from day one was going to be the downfall the downfall was going to be the second somebody learned that they could hustle you they were going to start hustling you and they were going to take advantage of people with the fear of FOMO right the fear of missing, missing out is a pretty real thing this Doctor Strange is a 15,000 piece run. I can't remember when I ordered these, to be honest with you. You kind of place the order with Entertainment Earth. Sometimes it takes a few months for you to actually get the order. They they send out the order when they get the order. I don't think that they're excessively like waiting. They're nothing like, uh, nothing, nothing at all like Big Apple Collectibles. Do not go to Big Apple Collectibles. But the, the whole thing that Andrew was saying was don't buy these from people that you don't personally know or not even personally know. Companies that you don't companies that are, are not big enough and don't have enough reviews to support you buying the Funko sodas from them because there's always some somebody out there looking to hustle somebody else for a, a gain whether that gain is through money or that game is through clout or that game is through whatever there's always somebody out there looking to gain on you so don't be a victim of this kind of stuff and only buy these from companies you trust and your your neighbor don't try and trust other people that are in other places that say that they just opened the box because the odds are they didn't just open the box i mean just if we're being honest and i know that sounds sinister right i'm not saying that you can't trust everybody i'm saying that you should have a lot of buyers beware when it comes to these things did we, did we, did we? Look, fingers crossed we did. I really, I really would like to have this Dr. Strange Chase variant. Did we get this guy? What is this Chase variant supposed to look like? I don't even know. Let's see. I don't believe we did not. All right. So, so one out of three was not that bad of a gig, right? I mean, I did manage to, to pull a Chase variant in a one out of three of these guys. Having the Doctor Strange comments, not that bad. I did recently grab the Doctor Strange Chase variant of the Funko Pop. So, so I'm not 100% disappointed. I'll get this. I haven't put them back in the display. I've been kind of trying to come up with a new way to display these guys so they don't get evicted twice a year so that the Santas can go in there. I'm going to figure that out at some point i'll probably make a, a whole video on figuring that out hey before we get out of here for the the what you could take away from the conversation and i'm going to throw a link down to andrew's channel right down in the description below so make sure you go check out the the whole conversation that he has and, and don't just listen to my butchered version of it but the thing that you could take away from this is when you're buying these sodas be very aware of who you're buying them from because the odds are you're getting hustled i mean it, and and i know that that sounds very sinister but it's just the truth i mean it, and sometimes the truth kind of sucks hey
I recently managed to pick this guy up at five and below. And, and coming up here soon, I'm going to make a video like terrorizing my daughters on their boat with this. It's it's just a matter of time. I just haven't had the opportunity yet. And I'm gonna be getting my little fairy door up soon. I don't I don't think I've shown this one off to anybody, but but coming up here real soon, I, I will I will get some really cool stuff going on. And hey look, I just wanna say that I truly appreciate you coming and hanging out with me and all the time that you spend with me and all the love and support and just know I appreciate you, and I'll catch you next time. Have a good one.